A taxi driver. Nathan is a taxi driver. He doesn't have much money, so he doesn't own a taxi. Nathan is a driver for a big taxi company. The company owns the taxes. Every day, Nathan drives a different taxi. Nathan is a very handsome man. Everyone thinks he is very good looking. Sometimes, women passengers in his taxi say, What time do you finish work? We are having a party tonight. Would you like to come? Nathan gets many invitations for dates from women, but he always says no. Why does he say no? Nathan says no because he is in love. He loves Grace. He has never spoken to Grace. He can't speak to her. Her full name is Grace Vincent Stevens. Nathan knows her name because it is on the wall next to a picture. You see, Nathan is in love with a picture of Grace. Grace's picture is in the City Art Gallery. Every day Nathan walks to the taxi company. He works from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. But Nathan always arrives at work at 5 a.m. He arrives early to clean his taxi. The company has a rule. After work, all taxi drivers have to clean the taxi they drove. But many drivers don't clean them. Nathan doesn't like that. So he cleans the taxi before he starts work. When Nathan finishes work, he goes to the art gallery. He likes art. But especially, he likes the painting of Grace Vincent Stevens. He stands in front of the painting and looks at it for a long time. He knows everything about the painting. He bought a catalogue from the art gallery. It has a small photograph of the picture in it. He keeps the catalogue next to his bed. The woman in the picture is very beautiful and young. She is wearing a white satin dress. She has beautiful jewelry, diamonds and emeralds. She is looking out of the picture. Nathan thinks she is looking at him. Nathan dreams that she is still alive. He dreams that she is his girlfriend. It is very sad because Grace Vincent Stevens died in 1927. Nathan knows it is crazy. He never tells anyone about his secret love. But he knows he will never love another woman. Sometimes, if he is alone in the art gallery, he talks to Grace. He thinks that sometimes she answers him. One morning, Nathan arrives at work as usual at 5 a.m. Good morning, he says to the man in the taxi office. Which car will I drive today? Good morning, Nathan. Number 505 for you today. I'm sorry, Eddie drove it last night. It's very dirty. That man is a pig. He never cleans his taxi. That's okay, says Nathan. I have time, I will clean it. Nathan cleans the outside of the taxi first. Then he starts to clean the inside. Eddie was eating in the taxi last night. On the floor next to the driver's seat there are empty cans and an empty pizza box. The back of the taxi is not so dirty, but Nathan cleans that too. Then he sees something shiny. 
It is on the floor next to the back seat. He picks it up. It is an earring. Nathan looks at it. He thinks, I know this earring. I have seen this earring before. Maybe I saw a passenger wearing it. The taxi company has a rule. If a driver finds anything in the taxi, he is to give it to the man in the office. But Nathan doesn't want to give the earring to the man in the office. He wants to think about it. He puts the earring in his pocket. When Nathan finishes work, he takes the taxi back to the company. Then he takes a bus to his apartment. He makes a sandwich and a cup of coffee. He sits down at the table in his small kitchen. He takes the earring from his pocket and looks at it. Where have I seen this earring, he thinks. He holds the earring in his hand. He thinks for a long time. Then he remembers. He runs to his bedroom. He takes the catalogue from the art gallery. He looks at the photograph of the picture of Grace Vincent Stevens. He looks at Grace's earrings. Yes. That's it. The earring in his hand is the same. Nathan goes back to the kitchen. He thinks this earring has emeralds and diamonds. If they are real jewels, this earring is very valuable. I should give it to the man in the office. But I don't want to. I want to find the owner. I want to give the earring back to the owner myself. Nathan eats his sandwich and drinks the coffee. He takes a shower. Then he puts the earring in his pocket and goes downstairs. He takes a bus back to the taxi company. He talks to the man in the office. I want to talk to Eddie. When will he finish his work today? He will be here at about midnight, answers the man. Nathan goes to the art gallery. He looks at the painting of Grace Vincent Stevens. He still loves her. He wants to take the earring out of his pocket, but he is too scared. Maybe someone will see him. Maybe the earring is made from real diamonds and emeralds. Nathan could be in big trouble. When the gallery closes, Nathan goes to a park. He sits on a bench in the park. He thinks about the beautiful picture. He thinks about the earring. Then he falls asleep. When he wakes up it is very late. He looks at his mobile phone. It is 11.40 p.m. He runs to the taxi company. He waits for Eddie. Eddie drives his taxi into the garage at five minutes past midnight. Eddie is tired. He wants to go home but Nathan wants to talk to him. Eddie. Last night, did you have a woman passenger? Of course. I had many passengers, some of them were women. Tell me about them. Where did you take them? Eddie is very tired. I don't know, I can't remember. Please Eddie, think. I picked up two women and took them to a restaurant in the Jardins district. I picked up an old man and a woman at the metro station on Rua Vergaro. They wanted to go to an apartment building near the university. All the other passengers were men. No. I remember. 
There was one more. I took a young woman to a hotel. She seemed upset. That was my last job last night. Which hotel, Eddie? I don't remember. Go away. I'm too tired. I want to go home. Eddie walks out of the garage. Nathan thinks, what should I do? Then he remembers. Every time a taxi driver picks up a new passenger, they have to call the office. The taxi company keeps a record of every job on the computer in the office. Nathan runs to the office. The nighttime office manager is a woman named Sonia. Sonia, says Nathan. Last night, Eddie took a woman to a hotel. Which hotel was it? Why do you want to know? asked Sonia. What should I say? Thinks Nathan. He can't tell Sonia about the earring. If he tells Sonia, she will say, why did you keep it? Give it to me. You know the rule. Nathan might lose his job. Nathan thinks hard, but he has no idea. Then there is a loud noise in the garage. A taxi coming in has hit a taxi going out, Sonia runs out. Nathan can hear her shouting at the drivers. Quickly Nathan goes to the computer, I must hurry. Sonia will come back soon. He finds Eddie's last job last night. Nathan goes out of the office, it is too late to go to the hotel now. But tomorrow is Wednesday. Nathan does not work on Wednesdays. He will go to the hotel tomorrow morning. Early the next morning, Nathan is standing outside the hotel. It is a small and cheap hotel. It is for young people with no money. He thinks only poor people stay in this hotel. So this earring is made of glass and plastic. But he wants to see the owner of the earring. Nathan wait for hours. He watches the people walking into the hotel and out of the hotel. Of course Nathan doesn't know the owner of the earring. He doesn't know her name. He doesn't know her face. But he believes he will find her. It is 2 p.m. Nathan is tired and hungry. I have seen many people, he thinks. But who is the owner of the earring? I still don't know. I am so stupid. What can I do? I will go to the gallery. I will ask Grace Vincent. She will help me. Nathan goes to the gallery. When he arrives at the gallery, he feels angry. Someone is standing in front of the picture of Grace Vincent Stevens. He can't talk to her. He has to wait. Nathan walks across the room until he is near the picture. A woman is standing in front of the picture. She is young and pretty. She is crying. She doesn't hear Nathan. Then Nathan gets a surprise. The young woman is talking to the picture. Oh, great grandmother, I am Barbara. I came here from my home. It is a very small town near Tejupa. I worked in the local shop. I hated it. I want to live in the city but my father wants me to stay at home. I have no mother. My grandmother was very kind. She told my father to let me go to the city. 
I saved my money. I saved for two years. Finally, I had enough money to come here. Grandmother told me about you. She told me to come and see your picture. She gave me her earrings. She said, the earrings will bring you good luck. They are my mother's earrings. Long ago, our family was rich and powerful. But now our family has nothing. We only have the earrings. Last week I got a job in the city. It was an office job. I started looking for an apartment. But I did a terrible thing. A man at the office asked me to go on a date with him. I said a yes. I wore the earrings because I wanted to look beautiful. But the man from the office is not a nice man. He didn't take me to a restaurant. He took me to a park. I was scared and I ran away. I got a taxi. When I got to my hotel, I looked in the mirror. I was very shocked. I only had one earring. I cannot go back to that office. I can't go home. I don't know what to do. I am so sorry. Nathan waits. He is sure the picture will talk to Barbara. He looks at the picture. But the eyes in the picture are not looking at Barbara. The eyes in the picture are looking at him. What does this mean? Nathan asks himself. Grace Vincent wants me to do something. But what? What does she want me to do? Nathan suddenly shouts, Grace Vincent. Tell me. What should I do? The young woman turns around. Who are you? She asks. I am Nathan. I drive a taxi. I have something for you. Nathan puts his hand in his pocket. He takes out the earring and gives it to her. Is this yours? He asks. She takes the earring and looks at it for a long time. Yes, it is. This is a miracle. Where did you find it? How did you find me? Nathan says, I like this painting. When I found the earring, I thought it looked the same as the earring in the painting. I came to check. Nathan thinks it is not a good idea to say more. If he tells Barbara the whole story, she will think he is crazy. And she is very pretty. She is more beautiful than Grace Vincent. Then Nathan says, would you like to come and have a coffee with me? Barbara smiles. Yes. I would like that. But first I have to do something. She turns back to the painting. Thank you, great grandmother. You have helped me. I will come and see you often. Barbara and Nathan walk towards the door of the gallery. Nathan turns around to look at the painting. Barbara doesn't see him, but he waves his hand to Grace Vincent. Goodbye. And Nathan is sure that the woman in the painting smiles and waves goodbye back to him. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more videos, press the bell icon and select all to get notifications.